Hey everybody, James Yeager with Response. Thanks for watching. Back out here at the range. Uh, gonna shoot this uh, new OSS can. Let me move this out of the way. Awesome Bushnell rangefinder. Uh, uh, spotting scope, sorry. Uh, loophole rangefinder. <laughs> I've had the thing for years. This, uh, the, the, the OSS uh, Kestrel, right? I can't remember all the names. <laughs> and it screws on backwards, so <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to shoot my finger off the uh, HXQD 5.56 and uh, so I've shot five shots out of it already <laughs> I'm really super impressed uh, but uh, this is a uh, the uh, SPR I'm taking through the Don Edwards DMR SPR class uh, I'm going to shoot some 77 grain gorilla get this thing zeroed in at 100 meters apparently he's a communist there's only two people there's only two kinds of people that use the metric system in the united states shooters and drug dealers <laughs> so you can get most of all this stuff from big daddy the midwest uh, type response 20th anniversary rifle that's a, of course midwest midwest uh, scope mount Trigicon, AccuTac, Bipod, Surefire, OSS, Magpul Furniture, uh, Gorilla Ammo. Again, Big Daddy Unlimited is kind of a one-stop shop for this stuff. And, uh, and they're alumni. Most of all these people are alumni of Tactical Response. So, let me get my scope set up. Oh, um, Blackhawk uh, <laughs> rain jacket. Like I get compliments on this thing all the time. It's a Blackhawk. I get I get to put patches on it, but uh, I've had this thing for years. I mean, like uh, uh, probably probably getting close to five years, at least four. And I wear it when I teach all the time. I wear this. This is my raincoat. This is where wear it all the time in the weather, and uh, and this thing is held up fantastically. And uh, Blackhawk has made a bunch of good clothes over the years, but it's like they don't catch on and they quit making them and I get it. And then, and then everybody finds out how awesome they are and they try to find them, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, closeouts and stuff like that. But, uh, they, they, they've always done wonderful. Their BDUs and all that stuff of the integrated tourniquet system is still my go-to stuff years later. Uh, sorry, this turned into a Blackhawk commercial. If you're looking for the GPS pouch, check out my Amazon store, SOE sandbag. But check out my Amazon store for odds and ends and stuff like that. Look under Modern Minute Man. Now let's uh, tweak my Acutec scope a little bit. Sorry if the if it's loud when it's close to my face, but if you guys want to hear me and it's windy out here. So the problem I've always had with this Trigicon is the crosshair is really fat. And that's so you can see it when it's a red dot, you know, when it's on one power. But like it's too because when you got it when you got it on eight power, it's too fat. It covers up the whole bullseye. So you never I feel like you I never get an exact zero with this thing. That's if I could change one thing about this, it would be to have some small thing in the center for the bullseye, the center of the target and then a, a bigger, heavier, coarse ring around it. I'm sure I'm not the first person that's told them that. I don't think I'm telling them that now. So OS can, OSS can, Gorilla 77. Let's, uh, let's shoot three rounds here. And I might wind up getting a fancy trigger for it. Mill spec doesn't lend itself well to SPR type uh, duty. Now, let's see. Okay. So. a little bit. It appears to me 
Then I got one through the bullseye at about one o'clock, and then the two are together just above it. And uh, I'm trying to think. So, so I'm, um, uh, as I film this, as you watch this, this video will be released um, just before I take the Don Edwards Greenline Tactical uh, DMR class. And so I'm trying to like get it as, as right as I can before the class starts. I don't want to be that guy. And uh, so I think I might just shoot another group and see where it goes because it's close to the bullseye now. It's so close that, that I wouldn't make an adjustment, but I'll shoot, I'll say five and just see what it looks like after that. This Accutech bipod is super stable. at one o'clock just outside of the bullseye like kind of crescent shaped around it i'm wondering if i should move it or not because like i said that crosshair is so big i don't know that i'm holding i'm aiming the exact same place every time I'm gonna I'm gonna do it again on I'm gonna do it again on three power and just see what see see what happens here because because when I do it on the lower power it's a lot more fine detail and uh, we'll see what happens here. What's great about this OSS can is I don't have a gas uh, gas block. I mean a, a gas uh, shut off on it. I don't have a special bolt in it. It's just the rifle, the way the rifle was, with the can on it. And um, so, uh, for your edification, an AR-15 bolt is supposed to run at five zero fifty inches per second as it moves back and forth. And when you, when you screw a regular baffle type can on, they move at about 150 inches per second. And the gun will literally beat itself apart. And then that's when you get guys putting like the heavier buffers and gas, gas adjustable gas blocks and, you know, the other stuff in there, which is the way you do it. You know what I mean? Uh, but the OSS, like it doesn't, the recoil doesn't feel sharper. I'm not getting any gas in my face and the wind is blowing into my face. So if there was gas coming out of there, I'd be getting it. Um, so just as somebody that, that shoots this, this gun a lot, it's, it's not changing the handling characteristics at all. It's really, it's really a nice can, really a nice can. Let me see what we did here. It appears I got more in the bullseye that time. Let's go down and take a look. Check, check.
Okay, so that first group I shot, there was like this guy right here and then like two right here. Then I told you I shot and there's kind of a crescent around the side or something, you know, something like that. Then I was backed it off to three power and three power I got this one, this one, and this one on three power. So I'm gonna call that zeroed <laughs> as good as I can zero this thing with that fucking reticle. And, uh, and that's not the kind of shooting I want to do. Two things would shrink this down to right here is a is a, a, a trick trigger and I and I don't put a trick trigger in a gun until I can outshoot it. And uh, and I have very few trick triggers like Geisley, very few of those things. But this is one that could certainly uh, could certainly use it and um, and some kind of optic with a better reticle. While the wind is really coming on, I don't know how much it's affecting the audio. I apologize, but. Uh, I might want to put a different scope on here. I'm just, I'm just not happy. I, I'll tell you, I ordered a uh, Mark VI um, from uh, Big Daddy Unlimited, and uh, first off, the price difference from the next cheapest one to them was hundreds of dollars. And uh, so that's number one. Number two, I ordered it, and uh, and I know those guys personally. They've trained with me. Um, like John uh, just comes to our alumni events and does lectures and stuff like that. So those guys are our friends. When John figured out, well, I think first Adam uh, figured out it wasn't going to get, the scope wasn't going to get here in time for this class. They both called me up, texted and said, uh, uh, hey, uh, we've got one we use on a demo gun, my personally owned gun, and uh, we'll send that to you. And you can keep that one or when the new one comes in send it back or whatever and i just thought that was just i mean they're my friends and you expect your friends to do nice stuff but like that that's it's going that's going real far it's going real far and uh no fault of their own everything's backed up because of everybody's buying shit and nobody's shipping it because everybody's at home and stuff like that so it's kind of crazy right now uh but uh anyway that's uh that's what's up and uh, so now I'll go back to the shop and talk about the rest of the stuff I'm doing to get ready for this class. So I've gotten back to the shop this afternoon and uh, I've decided to go a different route. <laughs> so I've put this uh, Bushnell Elite uh, DMR2 Pro on here and uh, um, it's a great scope. It's so great. Matter of fact, it hurts my stomach to take it. <laughs> See, I had it on that Savage rifle ch uh, chassis, chassis rifle and it was like tweaked out sweet you know like perfect and so it, like it really <laughs> like uh, pains me to undo like a perfect rifle but i wanted to have a good scope for this class and there's several good scopes in the world you know uh but uh but uh, this is the one that i had handy and this is uh, uh, you know it's a, see three and a half to to 21 power it's, it's a there's a lot of scope it's a lot of scope for a 223 but remember as clint smith says scopes help you see better not shoot better and so um so uh what i want to do tomorrow as <laughs> as my clock says not at the release of this video uh is i'm going to go over to clarksville to the tactical edge and they have their their uh, combat triggers that are nice i'm gonna go over there and grab one of those triggers and uh then i'm gonna come back and get this thing zeroed and uh it should be it i checked the eye relief on this both standing sitting kneeling and prone eye relief works for me um so that it's about all i got it's about all the news i have to report to you right now uh but this uh this bushnell dmr2 pro is a fucking great scope i mean it's like we just put a supercharger on a on a chevette <laughs> but uh but uh shout out again to this oss can what a uh what a really just awesome can no 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 blow back blow back in my face none of that stuff uh sound attenuation is good um i'm gonna shoot some i'm gonna shoot it all through this class so uh, the class calls for 500 rounds of match i'll be shooting 500 rounds of gorilla match the reason this bitch ain't dangered up as you know because it's not zeroed 
as soon as it is. Uh, but um, but uh, anyway, so I put the Accutech uh, spikes on here, the spike feet on here because we're going to be doing spike feet stuff. So I got that. But that's the, the only things I've really changed. I got got it lubed up with uh, the breakthrough clean, so it's all slick. I mean, a little breakthrough clean. Oh God, I love it. It's so slick. It's so slick. Um, but uh, that's it. Uh, that's it so uh, i'll do a continuation of this as i as i can but uh, this is all getting ready for the green line tactical dmr spr class that's for me happening as i film this happening in four days in a wake up <laughs> james Avery for tactical sponsor reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends